YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Beauty of the Master of Comics. Today, joined by Am I? And today, we're cracking a beer that I got in a trade with Jack Walker from Bear Beer Reviews. Thanks a bunch for this beer, dude. Can't wait to try it. Check him out, guys. Fellow YouTube beer reviewer doing some awesome stuff from the UK. He, uh, we traded some beers. This is one of the beers he traded to me, and I know this is so hard to get in the UK, but. Uh, it's pretty awesome that he actually, I think it, he actually traded me his only bottle. So this should be, well, interesting. This is from Magic Rock Brewing Company, and this is their Unhuman Cannonball. And they were one of the best breweries at CBC. They brought such amazing beer. They're so good. Uh, their Bourbon Barrel Age Bearded Lady Dessert Edition was insane. Um, such a nice brewery. Uh, and I I don't think I've had this before. I might have had a sample at one of the CBCs, I was it my third CBC this year, I'm not entirely sure, I don't think I've had it. But, uh, Jack said I really needed to try Unhuman Cannonball, because apparently in, it's one of the best IPAs in the UK at the moment. But it's a huge triple IPA on an 11%. And just, just look at the label as well, the artwork that Magic Rock does is insanely cool. And it's basically, I believe, a take on their Human Cannonball, which is their regular IPA, and then they do a version called Inhuman Cannonball, which is double, and then this one, which they release once a year in the spring. Uh, I think it's like two weeks old by now, so very fresh. 11% double IPA. It's it looks amazing. Like triple IPA, so let's, let's try it. The first ever Magic Work beer reviewed on this show in an official review, so let's do it. Okay, so we got the Unhuman Cannonball board, and it poured like really hazy, uh, it's a nice hazy, you can really smell it in the room, it's so intense. Uh, super hazy, the head fist away, but it's an 11% triple IPA, so that's understandable, but it was like a whitish head on there. Yeah. Uh, it's got the same color as some of the crazy American uh, IPA, unfiltered IPAs at the moment, but yeah, I really want to check out the aroma on this, so let's do it. You ready? Yeah, yeah man. Oh. <laughs> oh, that smells really damn good. This does not smell like an 11% beer. No. Wow. No, no. So tropical. This is a tropical fruit bomb. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Papaya, passion fruit, mangoes. What are you smelling like? Maybe a bit of the pine as well. And yeah. like grapefruit. Yeah. Sweet citrus fruit as well, grapefruit. I, I might be detecting a hint of sriracha ace, I think. I'm getting a slight lemongrass character. There's a lot of dankness as well. As well. Uh, like sweet tropical fruit dankness. It smells like seven and a half, eight percent beer. Yeah. Um, There's no booziness at all. Yeah, no and usually nothing. the triple IPAs are, in, in my mind, more like big barley wines. Mm. But I don't think I've ever had a triple IPA this first. But it's really making my saliva going. I love the yeah. fresh beer. It's got some pale stone fruit like peaches. And it's such and, a beautiful color as well. Though. Yeah. Like peaches and apricots and stuff like that. Maybe a bit of tangerine as well. Yeah, Let, let's try this. I really want to try it. Let's do it. Cheers. And thanks a bunch to Jack for the beer. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Wow. That is the best UK hoppy beer I have ever had. Holy shit. Did we, this... Drinks like an 8, 7% double IPA. Mm. Tons of sweet citrus fruits, tropical notes, like papaya, passion fruit, Great mangoes, fruit. grapefruit for sure, um, but also pale, pale stone fruit, like peaches, mm. like a, like really like a very ripe pale stone fruit, like a super ripe juicy peach. Yeah, yeah. It's like biting into a, like a mixed fruit ball, a fruit ball. With good bitterness as well. I mean, if you haven't told me that it was on eleven percent, I wouldn't have believed you at all. It is. Uh, this can seriously compete with some of the the crazy American hobby stuff I've had. I really mean that. Wow, this might be one of the best IPAs I've had from Europe. Actually, I think like it is so good. There's also some like. I think mint and a silk and notes to it as well. Yeah, like a basil. Mm -hmm. I can see that minty, almost like lemongrass. I don't know if there's a rush in there, but it might be one of them. Um, this is probably one of the best IPAs I've had from Europe and probably one of the best high ABV uh, IPAs I've had. I usually am not a fan of triple IPAs. I think 11% is a little high, but 
this is just so good, so juicy, so tropical. Mm. But even though you've got all those tropical, pale stone fruit, sweet citrus fruit, like tangerine, all that juicy flavors, you're also getting a good kick of bitterness, which is awesome. And then you just get a little bit of a finale character on the end. I love it. Uh, magic Rock. I really hope you start doing more bottles and <laughs> like, I mean, a bottled version of Dessert Bearded Lady bourbon would be awesome. But Bring it to Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert Bearded Lady was special for CBC, I think. Actually. Okay. But yeah, this is oh. really good. Uh, rating wise, 97. This is probably one of the best IPAs I've had out of Europe. This is really good. I want the same level as well. 97. It's amazing. I never expected to get something like this out, 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 out like outside of the US, but yeah. And they only do this once a year, unfortunately. But I guess if you can still find this, I know it gets sold out really fast in the, U in the UK, but if you can still find the Magic Rock Brewing Unhuman Cannonball and you love IPA, you need to try this. Thanks a bunch, Jack. It was damn good. Glad I got to try this. Uh, and yeah, guys. Definitely let us know what you think of Unhuman Cannonball if you've had it. I'd love to hear some feedback on previous batches better because this certainly turns amazing. Uh, yeah, and uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.